Now, on school profiling, Minister, this is directly from your own department website. Estimated marks from each school will be adjusted to bring them into line with the expected distribution for the school. The expected distribution for the school. Now, I sometimes wonder if enough people in this house or enough people in Irish society have any comprehension of what it's like to be attending a DESH school and the amount of barriers that are between you and maximizing your potential in this republic. I sometimes wonder if people really know what it's like. Because you have students who are trying, this is probably their only opportunity in many instances, to break out of poverty and to break out of disadvantage. And the one opportunity they have is, to, is a written exam or an exam who the person who is marking it does not know who they are, does not know where they're from, does not know the school that they attend. Now, you have school league tables within your own department, Minister, and you can't even FOI them because the department know that they are unfair and they give an unfair representation of what the education system is. And they publish them in newspapers and every year education spokespeople and ministers will come out and they'll criticise them. And you can't FOI them from the department. Yet this is the very profiling that's going to be used to assess an individual's leaving cert. I mean, how devastating must it, must it be to grind yourself through a situation where you teach yourself honours maths, or you teach yourself honours Irish, or you teach yourself a higher level subject because it isn't available in your school. That's the determination that some young people have in this country to break out of disadvantage, to break out of poverty. Because they knew when the script was being marked that it, there was, you know, it was anonymous. And that's gone now. Because the very profiling that you won't allow to be FOI'd in your department is going to be used to assess somebody's expected distribution from the school. So, Minister, with the greatest of respect, I can't accept your answer to other deputies around school profiling. I just can't. We will accept in the Labour Party the assessed grade system as you have proposed, because we appreciate there is no other option at this stage. But we will not accept the school profiling because we can't, because it's fundamentally unfair. So the simplest thing for you to do at this moment, Minister, is to delete that from the process and let every script, every assessed grade stand on its own merits. Because I don't agree with you when you say that an average student from a fee-paying school will not be advantaged by this system. If I was an average student from a fee-paying school, I'd be much happier today than I would if I was an exceptional student in a disadvantaged school. Because you will be assessed by the history of your school. And inevitably somebody from a fee-paying background or who has access to, to, uh, to tutorage outside the school system is going to benefit from that. So, Minister, please, 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 just get rid of the school profiling bit. And we can all move on uh, together. On additional needs, and it has been raised um, uh, by others, the issue of July provision, and you're open to expanding it, and I accept uh, the, uh, the statement that you've made. On SNAs, though, Minister, there is still, again, a level of confusion from SNAs and the level of disrespect that they have gotten, as has been mentioned uh, elsewhere, through this entire process, the goodwill they have shown has not been repl replicated by the department. And again, it has been said to me so many times, the department understands dealing with school buildings and dealing with teachers. And if you don't, if you're not a school building or you're not a teacher, the department really doesn't know how to deal with you. So again, a direct um, communication from yourself to SNAs, not via a trade union and not via the HSC, will be greatly appreciated. And the last thing I'll say, Minister, and I appreciate your response, please. Um, leaving Cert applied students feel as if they are not involved in this conversation. So when you do reference to Leaving Cert, could you, could you please put it on record that you're also referencing uh, Leaving Cert Applied? Because otherwise, Leaving Cert Applied students feel for somehow uh, they're being relegated in this conversation. And for those Leaving Cert students who are sitting, we hope, we expect, a written exam in 2021, fifth year students who are watching this entire situation um, with great uncertainty and great upset, 
Can you speak to them? Can you speak to their experience and what they can expect in, in 2021? Because obviously they've missed out a huge amount of uh, class time. And what sort of uh, mitigation um, will you make uh, for their school experience? Thank you, Minister. Thanks, Deputy. Tara. Yeah, um, thanks, Chairman. And I want to just try to stick to the, to the issues that you raised. You raised the issue, will I publish uh, the public health um, advice? Just to be very clear, Deputy, the public health advice meant that we could go and model what the Leaving Cert would look like. So using the public health advice, we modeled the Leaving Cert. One exam per day, papers one and a half hours, staggered entry to exam halls on a day-to-day -day basis, exams going from the 29th of July into September. So using that advice and that data, we modeled the Leaving Cert. And when we brought that to the partners around the table, and obviously it was brought to me as well, we decided, after getting advice from the State Examination Commission, that they couldn't stand over the legality and the validity of a Leaving Cert that is not comparable to any other year. So that was what informed us. So the next step of that was to find out from public health advice when we would be announcing the timetable the first week in June, would there be any change to that uh, uh, social distancing measures in July and, September, and, and August? Would that change? And the answer was no. So we have that. That's the discussion we had. Your other question was, who gave the advice? We in the Department of Education, me as Minister, we made the decision based on the information that we had, that it wouldn't be safe, it wouldn't be right, and ultimately, it wouldn't be fair. And you also tried to do the comparison between sitting in an exam in August and then bringing schools back in September. This was a decision about bringing post-primary school students, which I wanted and insisted on, that they be in for two weeks prior to the exam. So we're talking about people having students in the class two weeks in September, or in July, from mid-July. You talked about the peels and guidelines. I said earlier, we live a week, in a week's time, we'll have that proper information to answer a range of possibly 200 questions that were raised today at our advisory meeting. And can I say this in relation to disadvantage? I think, Deputy, you're doing an awful disservice to disadvantaged schools. We have exceptional students in disadvantaged student, in schools. And you're sending the message out today that they're going to be disadvantaged because they're in a disadvantaged school. Yes, I am. I, I think, think that's, that's a disgrace. No, it's not. And I think no, you're, you're I think, no, no, no. I, you had your time, you had eight minutes, I have 20 seconds yeah, yeah. left. I think it's an absolute disgrace because I can assure you, and I'm sure you in this house today, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into a row with you, Deputy, and you, you can no, call me, you can call me and I can sit down with you and talk about this, but we will not, we will not, and I will not allow you. no point in telling me you're not going to get in a row with me and point a finger at me and call me Deputy, a disgrace. Deputy. I'm calling your process a disgrace, not you. Okay, thank and, you, there's leaving cert, and there's Leaving Cert students listening you, to that. I think it's wrong Minister. that you're doing, that you're peddling that because Minister. exceptional students, Minister. whether they're in a community school, a Jesh school or private school, they will not be discriminated because it's an all school mark. It's Good a school, right. it's a grade, thank it's you. a, it's, it, it, it's a calculated Deputy. grade coming from the school based on the performance. And Deputy I used the example Gary, of an incredible school in Thanks, City Centre here at Larkin College where I spoke Thanks, to Minister. a teacher and she talked about the, the progression you, within Minister. one year. And that progression will be monitored and that progression will not be Minister, uh, a Deputy disadvantaging Gary student in any way.